Hello everyone, Samaritan here and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and I'm going to be talking about where I stand as a competitor. So, this all really started after HCS Las Vegas and the uh, the update, the Monitor's Bounty update being uh, released. So, with this, uh, I got really into the social aspect, as well as everyone else did, of Halo. So, Team Skirmish, Triple Team, Shoddy Snipes, those things are the really... The big things I like played because I had a lot of fun on them and I could just kind of shoot my magnum and shoot the shit and not really care. So uh, doing this, you know, allowed for a lot more YouTube content. So I really focused on my YouTube. I didn't really play arena. The only time that I'd really play competitively was uh, free for all and doubles. So and even with that, I didn't really do much of it. So um, in my head, I thought. It would probably be easier if I, instead instead of you know playing countless hours to compete, I could do YouTube and uh, still trying to stay in the competitive scene. I could be a coach. So for whatever team that Clay and Cole got on, I'd be a coach for their team. So that allowed me to continue like. To, to know the meta and keep my knowledge up but I really wouldn't have to put in as much hours as you know the guys competing would have to do and it'd be easier for you know my social life with my family friends and girlfriend uh, making uh, making different content for YouTube would be uh, a lot easier because I noticed whenever I was you know competing I only really uploaded you know scrims and stuff like that so it, it allowed for diversity uh, and I had that set as my as my idea for what I was going to do moving forward for about a week. I I had it settled in my mind. I was like, you know what? I'm not changing. I'm sticking with this. And then I played I played some arena. I watched some more uh, people you know play uh, with these new settings, and it got me really excited. And I thought that I thought that coaching was what I wanted. But I've made things work in the past, um, and I will continue to make things work because I'm going to keep competing. I I plan on going to some of the future, uh, some of the future LAN events, which I will talk about here in a minute. Uh, but I I announced it uh, a day or two ago on my Twitter that I was a free agent for the upcoming events, and uh, I really. I, I didn't plan on sharing it on on here, but I feel like it, it's a it's a big step for me, or, or a sizable step for me, and uh, I it didn't seem right to not share it with you guys because you know a, any changes that I make should be uh, should be known to you guys. That way you guys aren't really left in the dark. So. Uh, I'm announcing free agency today here on YouTube, and uh, the question that I'm probably going to see be raised is, well, what happened with the CX squad that you went to Vegas with? And uh, as far as I know, we're all going our separate ways. I really don't know if Troy's continuing to compete with uh, Steve, but I know Dallas is going on to do different things. Um, and uh, I know Troy is going off as a free agent looking for different teams. And uh, I really, I really don't know what's going on with Steve. I really haven't talked to him in a, well ever since Vegas. Uh, great guy, by the way. <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. Uh, and uh, the why part of of me not teaming with them. Uh, it really, you know, other than Dallas, I know that Dallas is going to a different team, which they will announce whenever they want. Uh, but uh, it, it was really just play styles. Uh, I didn't feel comfortable with how we were playing the game, and that made me play not as well because I wasn't playing uh, the game that I felt like I should be. So we just had different thoughts on meta, and it it affected me negatively. And um, you know, time was already you know chopping down, and I really didn't want to leave this team and kind of like fuck them out of like being able to compete because Dallas already paid for the team passes and um, I had the idea of you know maybe uh, leaving 
uh, while we were teaming still uh, like sometime in the middle just because of life stuff but you know I, I stuck to it and uh, it, it was just how we played the game and it was different for we had different ideas for it and that's okay because everyone has different ideas of how to play uh, this game so um, I, I'm, I'm not gonna be teaming with them for that reason it's nothing personal it's just it's just we we don't play Halo the same. So, uh, looking looking forward, I don't want to put myself in that same situation where I feel like uh, I I don't I don't fit in the team. So I'm not going to put myself in that situation again. Uh, so I'm going to take as much time as I can. Now, when I say uh, can, it's it's putting myself to a time limit because I don't want to spend so much time uh, trying to find the right team and not be able to practice as much uh, because that has really been like the downfall of a lot or the past like two teams I've been on going into LAN events with the Chattanooga team I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to go uh, because it was my first LAN event my mom was kind of like iffy about everything uh, and I really didn't know until, uh, about a month, a month before Chattanooga. So, uh, and even then they kind of had their mindset on a team already, but, you know, with me being added into it, things changed, uh, and we had, we had not much time, you know, whenever you take into consideration how, uh, how many times, you know, people want to go out and like hang out with friends and, you know, have different social obligations, you know, that chips away at that month that you have, uh, and, uh, it, it sucked, but, you know, we still placed pretty well for our first event, uh, and then the Las Vegas team, it was a lot of scheduling issues, so we weren't really able to make things, uh, work as far as, you know, people having to go to school and go to work, and, you know, times just didn't, just didn't match up, so we didn't get a lot of practice in. So I, I want to make sure that practice, we have enough practice to do well at the event, as well as I feel comfortable enough to where I feel confident in the team that I'm on. So uh, with with that said, I uh, I now want to talk about the per the personal, the possible events that I will be going to, which are HCS St. Louis, which is on... I believe January 21st or the 22nd, and the open event that DreamHack is running for the season finals at Atlanta, which is sometime in July. And I, th this was like a key factor in why I wanted to go back to compete is because I saw that new lands were being announced and uh, St. Louis and Atlanta are probably like the closest ones that I can go to. And I, uh, and with Atlanta, I'd be I'd be hanging out with Cole and them as well. So it's all a win-win situation. It felt like doors were opening whenever I thought they were really closing on me. So that this is very exciting for me, and I I haven't had such drive to compete since I guess Chattanooga, where I really just wanted to win, 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 and see how far I can go, and you know going into the event I was like you know what? I want to get into that pool play and I I'm hungry now and nothing nothing is gonna stop me from trying to put myself in the best situation where I can get the best outcome you know it's all about moving moving forward and not really taking steps back as far as teams go and uh, competing I feel like I'm playing uh, the best Halo that I've played in a while and I, I'm moving with that. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop to coach whenever I feel like I'm at a prime right now. Uh, I don't feel like I'm plateauing, so that's really good. And yeah, that those are my thoughts behind uh, you know why I decided to compete again and not take the backseat as a coach. So I really wanted to share this with you guys because again, I just want us to be on the same page. You know, it, that's that's a lot of what it's about communication. Uh, and, uh, I, I, I talk a lot on Twitter, so if you guys want to follow my Twitter, I will leave a link to it down below, and, 
that's going to be it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and really seeing my perspective on, um, you know, competing and uh, my choice, the choices that I made. And, you know, look forward to seeing me maybe at the possible events. You know, maybe I get on main stage, which we almost did uh, at Las Vegas if we didn't lose first round. Because we would have played Panda next and Panda was on main stage. That's besides the point. I will talk to you guys in the next one.